This is a rather unusual design Stirling engine. I saw this on eBay and was intrigued by it. <clears throat> and after quite a bit of furious bidding, I might add, um, I was very fortunate enough to win the auction. Now, I think this has probably been scratch built. There's a lot of nice detail on it. <clears throat> but what is interesting to me about it is that it was described as a water-cooled hot air engine. And basically, what I think the idea is that this copper tray that sits on the top here, you put water in there and that cools. Oops, this, the, the ladder's loose on this thing. Let's just stop it a minute. Take that off. There we go. That cools. This is the top part of the displacer piston here. And the water keeps that cool as opposed to the hot part at the bottom there. There's a gas burner down the bottom, just under here. And you can see the, uh, obviously the gas tank on this end here. And I just thought, well, it's very unusual. I've not seen an engine like this before. And apparently it, it does work, according to the, uh, the seller. I haven't tried it yet. This is exactly as it came. All I've done is unpack it. <clears throat> it all turns, this is all free. Yeah. So, yeah, very interesting. I'm gonna give it a bit of a, a clean up, just to rub down with some rag. I'm not gonna do too much work on it. Then we'll see if it runs. I've no reason to doubt that it will. But yeah, just an intriguing design. A lot of effort's been put into the turning these feet and, and these supports for the, the top platform. <clears throat> very intriguing. Uh, and also, also this is this is this is interesting. The flywheel, it's got the brass. It's got a brass center, but this is some sort of ferrous metal, like steel. This tire that goes around the outside, and then there's another brass ring that's been put around, put around the uh, the out the outer edge. So again, uh, interesting. Uh, quite a lot of work's been gone into uh, been put into this, and as far as I can tell, the quality of the workmanship is is very good. So, yeah. Interesting engine. Right, let's see if we can get it to run. Well, the first problem I ran into with this was filling the gas tank. I couldn't get my gas canister in there, so I had to take the pipe off and tip it that way so I could fill it up. But the gas tank is now full. The burner is alight and we can see some smoke coming off, which I think is probably just old oil. There you can see the burner. Quite a lot of smoke coming off the bottom of the displacer piston. As I said, it's probably oil. Well, it hasn't been a light very long. Let's see whether it will run. Wow, amazing. And very quiet. I'm going to keep my eye on the old gas valve here because it was, it, it did light up briefly so i think that may, may well be leaking some gas but yeah that is very definitely very definitely running still smoking away as well Yeah, works a treat. Well pleased with that. Let's see if I can turn the burner down a bit. It's very, very sensitive. Whoever designed and built this did a good job. I'm going to try and turn it around, but bear with me because obviously this is full of water. Yeah, it's a little bit unsteady on its feet as well. I've got some packing under one of the feet. 
hence the wobble. But yeah, that certainly works a treat. A very interesting design. <coughs> yes, the water is definitely warming up. That was cold when I put it in there. But it obviously does the job. It keeps the top of the displacer piston uh, cylinder cool. So you get the differential in air temperature. Let's try a different angle. turn that off for now I think but yes <coughs> I need to sort that uh, little gas leak out but it definitely runs fine well, I'm well pleased with that anyway I thought you'd like to have a look at this very unusual Stirling engine water cooled and uh, very nicely made and it runs a treat I ah, hope you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching cheers